Hey y'all, I'm David Bryan. I'm a full-time missionary in Kenya, um, and I have a heart to see Muslims reach with the gospel um, in East Africa. Um, hopefully, I hope that God will send me to Somalia one day, and um, I just want to just give a testimony of, I'm just, I'm just really thankful to be a part of um, this project of, you know, God and my team, and I'm so thankful that I got an opportunity to be a part of this, um, this movement. And I just want to share um, why it is important to me to have just a team of guys that I can run with um, and, and go after God with. And um, God and my team reminds me of the first and um, the first commandment, the first and great commandment that Jesus gave us is to love him with all of our heart, my soul, and strength. And the second is to love our neighbor as ourselves. And I, I know that the, the, the longest seasons that I have been in um, impurity, the longest seasons that I have been um, just on fire for God um, on a consistent basis has been in good community and good fellowship and good brotherhood. And um, I'm so thankful to be um, a part of an organization here at International House of Prayer Atlanta that trains missionaries to be in team and do community. And they send, a, they send us out to the nations in teams. And um, that has been one of the biggest blessings of, of me um, being a missionary that I get to run with like-minded um, brothers and it's not just us just doing church and trying to like preach the gospel with each other but it's us keeping each other accountable being transparent calling each other higher just being in honesty and calling each other to be humble and it's just been really really cool and I'm so so thankful about that um God and my team is just an awesome movement that really touches my heart um, because that is how I've seen God move the most in my life. It has been through pursuing Him passionately and then running with other believers. And I just encourage um, definitely young guys to really get plugged into a local church and get plugged into a local men's group or youth group and just really um, get plugged into a being discipled by other guys. and. And really just being humble and honest with, with other men, other like-minded people because um, it will help you just um, walk worthy of the calling. It will help you be accountable and it will really, really bring breakthrough in your life like it, had, like it has done for me. The scripture that God has been speaking to me is from Son of Solomon. Um, chapter 1, Solomon at verse 4. This is how I read it and interpret it, but it says this. Draw me after you and let us run. The king has brought me into his chambers. And we will exalt and rejoice in you even more than even more than wine. Rightly do they love you. And the first part says, "Draw me after you, let us run." And um, what I get from that is God and my team. Draw me after you, God. Draw my gaze. Draw my heart. Um, I want to be intimate with you um, as my father, as my friend, as my king. And from the place of friendship and intimacy with God, let me run with other believers, other Christians, other people who are violently pursuing your heart and violently going against any compromise and hindrances in our own lives that, that um, causes us not to love Him well. So that's my prayer for everybody that's a part of this movement, everybody that's just Christians, that God would draw us, that He would draw our hearts, that He would be our ambition and that we would pursue Him. We will do the first commandment, that the first place in our hearts and the second will be lived out from that, loving our neighbors as ourselves, running after Him with other people. Um, I'm so thankful to be a part of this and make God be exalted and glorified um, through our love for Him and through our love for one another. God bless you guys. I got my God and team. My God and team. <laughs>